Howdy y'all, in today's video I'm going to discuss how fruit can be the key for your digestive health. I'm going to give you 5 recommendations on today's video of fruits I recommend as a poop doctor. Can an apple a day really keep the doctor away? Oh no, not me, don't keep me away! Guys, let's talk about poop. Hey friends, have you heard this one before? An apple a day will keep a doctor away? I know it, I've heard it my whole life, and I know that my parents and grandparents always told me to eat that fruit so I don't see a doctor. Come on guys, you don't want to see a doctor like me? Come on, I'm cool! Aren't I? I think I am. So is there anything to that? Is that just a big myth that people like to say to make you eat that yummy or maybe not so yummy fruit? Or is there actual truth to having fruit as a key for your digestive health. Howdy y'all, Dr. Islam here, AKA your poop guru trying to keep you happy and healthy from the top all the way down to the bottom. If you're new to this channel, I am a GI doctor who loves to give you advice on how you can optimize your gut health. And when we sometimes think about gut health, sometimes we don't realize how we can really optimize what is going on inside our GI tract. Our GI tract has trillions and trillions and quadratrillions of bacteria that are constantly playing a role in terms of how we feel. It helps with digestion, can help with mood, helps us treat hormones and other transmitters inside our GI tract. And those gut bacteria interact with what food we are eating. And one of the best ways, the optimal ways to make your gut microbiome happy and healthy is to give it food that it wants to replenish it and to give it the nutrients it needs to help optimize your gut health. And one of the best ways you can do this is fruit. And the types of fruit that we eat can help put us in control of optimizing our gut health. Here are the five fruits I recommend. Number one, bananas. Bananas are a powerhouse of antioxidants, nutrients, and things that we need to help improve our gut health. And bananas are a fantastic source of fiber, which we know is the foundation of gut health. Bananas can help out with weight control, cardiovascular health, blood pressure issues. It is like the miracle drug or the miracle fruit that we always want to incorporate in our diet. And as a bonus tip, if you slice up those bananas, add them to your oats, you're going to double the amount of fiber in your diet and you're making somebody like me very, very happy. Number two, apples. Yes, maybe grandma was right because an apple a day may keep the doctor away. Oh no, not keeping me away. But yes, I would love it actually if you did not see me all the time. Apples are a fantastic source of fiber and they actually have natural antioxidants in them called pectins. Pectin is a fantastic prebiotic fiber that adds fuel to your gut microbiome to improve your gut bacteria, make them stronger like Popeye, get them swole so they can fight off diseases and inflammation going on inside your body. And pectin has another added benefit that actually helps out with elimination. That's number two of your poop. So if you're having issues with constipation, try adding apples into your diet. Now, if you don't like to have just a whole apple, there are a lot of ways you can have apples. Cut them up, maybe add some peanut butter, add some protein in them, add it to maybe your cereal or your morning food. That is a great way to add this apple a day to keep a doctor like me away. Hey, I really appreciate you guys watching this video. If you haven't already, don't forget to smash that like button, comment down below. Number three, cranberries. These small little bitty fruits pack a, a big punch for everybody who wants to incorporate this in their diet. I love cranberries and I try to have this every single day. They are high in antioxidants. They are high in vitamins and minerals and that small little cran like small little cranberry really will give you a big bang for that small little buck and you can get a lot of good bacteria inside that little fruit. And there is some evidence that cranberry juice can actually help out with urinary tract infections. Now one of the big warning signs with cranberries is that sometimes they're a little tart. 
so they can be hard to digest. So if you want to add some stevia or mix it in with some other fruits, that can help minimize that tartness for cranberries. Number four, one of my favorites, blueberries. Blueberries are fantastic. They have a lot of antioxidants and I try to incorporate this also every single day. It is like a secret, like I feel like a secret drug that no one really knows about because cranberries pack so much punch. They help prevent damage in your cells. There is some evidence it can maybe help minimize Alzheimer's, strokes, or other brain issues as well. It's great for your gut, great for your heart, and they taste good also. However you have these blueberries, whether they're frozen, natural, slurred up, it does not matter. It's a great source to improve your gut bacteria. It has its own prebiotic material to help make your good guys even stronger than what they are right now. Add it to cereal, add it to yogurt, add it to whatever you want so you can get those blueberries in your diet. Number five, kiwi. Now let me know in the comments, where do you think kiwi is from? Because if you're like me, you may have thought, oh, I know, Kiwi, Australia, but you are wrong. Kiwi actually comes from China. I had no idea. I actually had to look this up. It came to Australia centuries ago, but it actually originated in China. Now, Kiwi is also a super fruit. It has a lot of vitamin C, so you can help out with colds and flus and things like that. But the skin of kiwi also can be eaten, and that has a lot of fiber. In fact, a recent study showed that having kiwi, around two to four kiwis per day, can help out with constipation. So if you are blocked up and stuffed, you need to have some kiwi. Incorporate that into your diet to allow you go and flow. All right, you thought I was done, but if you suck to the end, I'm going to give you a bonus tip. Yay! You guys are really great for staying towards the end. All right, another bonus fruit that I recommend are grapes. Yes, those grapes are full of so many anti-inflammatory material, a lot of vitamins, a lot of minerals, and you don't need a lot of grapes to get that benefit as well. Grapes are high in fiber and they also have a ingredient called catechins. This is known to reduce inflammation inside your GI tract. So if you're feeling inflamed, something is not feeling right, grapes are a tasty and a great way to help decrease that inflammation. And if you're having cholesterol issues, Grapes are a great natural way to decrease cholesterol. In a recent study, two servings of grapes per day decreased someone's LDL cholesterol, which is the bad cholesterol, by 16% over four weeks. That's incredible. And that's a very effective natural way to help get that cholesterol, bad cholesterol down. Eat them fresh, eat them frozen, eat them in a smoothie, who cares, as long as you incorporate them in your diet. So my call to action for you guys, this week I want you to incorporate one of these fruits in your diet this week. Get on the bandwagon, help out your gut, and help you improve your GI tract so you can live a happy and healthy life. My question today for you, would you add anything? Would you change anything? Have you tried any adjustments? for your diet, comment down below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button. Like, share, and subscribe so you can get more videos just like this one so you can optimize your gut health. And don't forget, let's talk about poop. Thanks, everybody.